Okay, we're on uh, Shkalim Perek Zayim Mishnah Vav, sixth Mishnah in the seventh chapter of Shkalim. So if you remember, in the last Mishnah, we learned that uh, the Chazal were Hitkinu, the rabbis made a takana, that if a person found an animal, then he would bring the animal and then they would pay for the Nesachim. So the Mishnah continues, Amar Rabbi Shimon, Rabbi Shimon says, Shivad Varim Hitkinu Beitim, Beitim made seven takanot, and this one that we learned in the last Mishnah, that, the, that they would pay the Nesachim for found animals from the public uh, funds, that was one of the seven takana. And then we're going to learn the next six. We're going to learn three in this Mishnah, and three in the next Mishnah, in Mishnah Zion, the last Mishnah of the Paris. Okay, Amara, so what are they? First what is Nachrish Shilach Ola Tomi Medina Tayam, if a non-Jew sent his Ola. He wanted to send a korban neder or nedava. A non-Jew could send his korban. That's interesting, Medina Tayam, the words Medina Tayam means... Uh, means a foreign country, from outside the country. So some say that it's because, so why would a non-Jew only send from a foreign country? Some say because that's what the Mishnah related to in the times when this was written, there were mostly Jews in the country. Others say, no, that it's only foreign Jews, but that's a little unusual. So we'll assume that it means a non-Jew wants to send his korban neder or korban nedavah, he can. V'shilach ima nesachim, and he sent the appropriate nesachim for, for whatever animal, krevimi shalom. Then of course we bring the animal, we bring it from his, from the money that he sent. But v'im lav, if the non-Jew just sent the animal, he sent the money from the animal, but he didn't send it from, he didn't, he did not send, uh, he did not send uh, the nesachim, then kravi mishel tzibor. Then we we will pony up the money and we'll kravi uh, mishel tzibor and we'll uh, and we, we pay for it. That's zera number two. Misha says v'chein ger shemeit v'hinech zvachim. If a convert passed away and left korbanot, left animals that had to be brought for, as korbanot. Okay, then, im yeshlo nesachim, if he has money to, to bring the nesachim with it, krevi mi shalom. Then he has to bring it from his own property, from his own money. Okay, meaning if he left property, if he left money designated for the nesachim, then you bring it from them. Im lav, and if not, krevi mi shel tzibur. Okay, you are, then you're, you bring it from the public community, from the public till. Why? Okay, if he has, uh, if he has, uh, inheritors, if he has children, and then they have to pay. But if it's some, but a ger who had no children, so remember a ger that converts is like a katan shenola adam, he has no relatives. So therefore when he dies, and he has no, his, if he gave away his property, we had no property, there's no one to pay. And therefore we say, krevin Michel tzibor, and it's paid from the public funds. Number three, utnai beitin hu al kohen gadol shemet, there's a tnai beitin on a kohen gadol who dies, shetehei min chato kreva Michel tzibor, that is mincha is brought, Michel Tzibor. Rabbi Yudah Omer, Rabbi Yudah says, Michel Yorshim. Rabbi Yudah says, no, his korban mincha is not brought from Tzibor, but his, in, instead his inheritors pay it. Ushlema aita kreva. And it was brought shlema. I'll explain what this means in one, I have to explain exactly what's going on in this tonight. In order to understand this, we have to go to Vayikra Perak Vav. It starts with Pasuk Yud Bet. There's a, there's a, there's a korban called Korban called Minchat Chaviti, and I'm going to write that down for you. I haven't written it written here in a while. It's a special korban called Minchat Chaviti, and Chavita is a is a frying pan. But just to see what it looks, Minchat Chaviti, okay? Chaviti, we have the Mincha offering of the Chavita of the Chaviti of the frying pan. Okay, this is a special korban only offered by the Kohen Gadol, by the high priest. Now the, the Torah says Gadol. The Torah says the following: Ze korban Aaron uvanav esher yakivu laHashem. This is the korban that's brought from Aaron. That's, that should be brought to God. Okay. How, did, how much is he bringing? A sirita eifa solit mincha, a tenth of an eifa of fine flour, tamid always, machatzita baboker, u machatzita ba'erev. Half in the morning and half in the evening. So he had to bring this, this a sirita eifa, the sense of the eifa, half in the morning, half in the evening. Al machavat. He brings on a machavat, chavitin, on a frying pan. Bashemen, morbechet of He has to bring when it's soaked, you bring it, Okay, he has to bring this meal offering and it's totally burnt. So you bring this asiritaifa, the ko any kohen gadol, every day has to bring this mincha called minchat chavitin. It's, it's in fine flour, it's an asirit, a tenth of an eifa, in flour, in, in oil, and he brings it half in the morning and half at night. Okay, now what happens though if the kohen gadol dies? He dies. In the middle of the day, in the day, he brought it in the morning, and now the day comes along and he has to bring the other half, but he died. He died at 12 o'clock, he didn't have, to, he didn't have a chance to bring it in the afternoon. 
What do you do then? So the answer is everyone agrees that it has to be brought ushle mahai takrevai. You can now longer, unless he brought half of the Isaron, the Kohen Gadol. But now he died. So whoever his, your, somebody else, his inheritors or his replacement, they didn't, they didn't appoint a replacement yet. There's no new Kohen Gadol. So somebody else has to bring a new Mincha Chavitim. And he doesn't bring half machatita. He can't bring the other half. But he has to bring asiri taifa. He has to bring a whole tenth of an eifa. Everyone agrees, shleima itakreva. But the Machloket, Rabbi Yudah says, uh, excuse me, the, the Tanakam, which is Rabbi Shimon says, it's brought Michel Tzibor. And Rabbi Huda says, it's brought Michel Yorshim. His inheritors have to pay for it. And that's the din in the Torah. Okay? So the question is, if that's the din in the Torah, then why was it brought, then what's the, what's the name of the Machloket? So the Bartinurus is the following. Bartinurus says, this is all based on the Gemara and Menachot, Tafnun Aleph Amabet. You can look, learn it there. Okay, so the Gemara says, the Bartinura says, Shtei takanot ayu. Okay, there were two takanot. The Tchira mida oraita kweva mishel tzibor. Originally, mida oraita, the din of the Torah was that mitzel tzibor, that according to Rabbi Shimon, it has to be brought mishel tzibor, since it says chokolam. Now, we didn't read the whole Bartinura, you can trust me. Okay, so the, originally they said, din Torah is that the, 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 the community has to pay for it. Kevan shira udeka mid chakar lishka, so the, 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 the bean counters, the accountant came and said, we can't afford this. It's a lot of money. So they went to the Yorshim, the Kohen Gadol, and says, no, we can't pay for this anymore. We're making a takana. The, the Yorshim have to pay from their pocket, from their father's inheritance, from their father's estate, until we appoint a new Kohen Gadol. Great, no problem. Now we don't have to pay for it. The Chazu, they saw the Kapashuba, the Yorshim said, forget it, we're not going to do that. And they weren't bringing the Minchat Chavitim. Then they made a takana and said, we're going to make a takana to go back on our original takana. So it turns out that they made a new takana. This is a takana. Okay? Tanai beitin al kohen gadol shemait. That when the kohen gadol died, shetehim minchato kreva mishel tzibur. That it would once again now be offered again mishel tzibur, which was the original de'araita. Rabbi Yudah also argues and says that Rabbi Shimon, no, it was always brought Mishael Yorshim. The Yorshim have to, the inheritors have to pay from their father's estate until they can appoint a new Kohen Gadol. I mean, both of them agree, as we said, Shleima Haita Kreva. They didn't bring half of a Machat, half of an Isaron Solet, but every time they brought it in the morning and the evening, they brought an Asirit Aifa, a whole tenth of an Aifa, as a Korban Mincha. Stop here, and we'll designate our learning to the memory of my father, of Simba Rabbi Yitzhak Kalman, and Haisha Tzikorafeg, Matilda Bat Nachum Elimelech. If you have comments or questions, email me at rspolter at gmail.com. Have a great day.